in this season, I'm learning that patience is actually a weapon. To be able to sit back and just watch things play out. I often think about if you slow down, you can react faster. That being that you can see things differently. You won't be able to jump and be quick. But if you sit back, things will work out quickly for you. You can see what taking your hands off actually gets you. Where it actually puts you. It's an amazing place to be. Being able to focus more on calming myself down before I allow anyone else to raise my elevation in anger, frustration, confusion, or fears. I can sit back and relax in myself and just watch it play out. If it needs my input, I've got it enough time for I can have the proper thoughts and the wording to say to either help someone or change someone. I can sit back and take my time. Be patient, even with yourself. Be able to go to bed earlier so you can get up earlier, right? The day belongs to those who can actually move and operate and those who can be on time for things. Failure to be on time means one cannot master their own life. Sit back. Relax a little bit. Focus more on you instead of the agencies and the, the things that other people put on you, the, the compounding of the pressures. Take those pressures off. Realize how much control you have and take control of it. Hold it in your hands or let it go. It's yours. You have full dominion over the things that you can control. This video is about self-control and making self-control a priority, a priority of yours to do the things that you actually want to do. If you don't know what you want to do, if you don't have clarity in your life, my suggestion, sit down, relax, think about it, write out some goals. You don't have goals, be able to sit and realize what can you do as far as helping someone else. That'll lead you to your purpose. Now this thing is going all over the place, but you don't already have the clarity needed to sit and be in peace. That's what we're going to be able to do. Sit, be at peace, think more about you than someone else. So when you get yourself together, you can help everybody. But as they're pulling on you, they're weighing you down. If you feel that. Now, if you have partners that are helping you and building you up, that's a business alliance. If it's not helping you, it's hurting you. Look in the characters and the situations in your life and see that you are your best resource.